Hi, my name is Hamish and I'm one of the three developers building a new chat app running on the internet computer called OpenChat. The three of us are all based in the UK and we worked together for many years before we heard about the internet computer and came up with the idea to build OpenChat. One of the other founders, Matt, is actually an old friend of Dom's. They worked together on various startups over roughly a 10 year period. That connection to Dom is how we first got introduced to the internet computer. Dom gave us the sales pitch to try to entice us to leave our old jobs and build on the internet computer, and it worked. <clears throat> we spent some time digging into the internet computer and learning about its capabilities. For example, it is extremely scalable, but changes to state take one or two seconds to finalize. We felt this was a perfect opportunity to build a fully decentralized chat app, which would have all of the usual features that you'd expect, such as direct messages, private groups, public groups, and so on, but then also have additional features which are only made possible due to it running on the blockchain, such as decentralized governance and the ability to easily and securely transfer crypto within chat messages. OpenChat is already live and out there for people to use. If you haven't already, you should check it out. You can access it at oc.app, Feel free to drop me a message. I'm happy to answer anything about open chat or the internet computer or whatever. My username is simply Hamish. So in open chat, you can already send direct messages or create groups with thousands of users. You can react to messages. You can create polls. You can send ICP within chat messages too. But we still have a long list of features we want to add. For example, we will shortly have end-to-end -end encryption within direct chats and private groups. Once the internet computer's Bitcoin integration is complete, we will have the ability to send Bitcoin within chat messages. We also want to support integrations with external services. For example, we already have groups where users can view governance proposals, and we want to extend those groups so that users can actually vote on those proposals by simply reacting with a thumbs up or thumbs down to the message or users could top up a canister with cycles by sending a message containing ICP to a bot, which then handles the top up. Or users could, for example, um, exchange ICP for Bitcoin or any other crypto by simply sending ICP in a chat message to a token swap bot. These are just a few examples which we will most likely build ourselves. But in the future, we envision the community extending the functionality of OpenChat by building loads more of these integrations. Another big feature coming shortly is the SNS integration. Currently, us three devs have full control over the code running in the OpenChat canisters, but this doesn't really fit with our goal of decentralization. The internet computer is governed by the NNS, the network nervous system. And shortly, services running on the internet computer will have the option to be governed by their own SNS, which stands for the service nervous system. So people holding ICP can vote on changes to the internet computer via the NNS. And similarly, once OpenChat hands control over its own, over to its own SNS, people holding OpenChat tokens will be able to vote on changes to OpenChat via the OpenChat SNS. Once this happens, OpenChat will then be fully decentralized. Us three founders will only keep roughly 10% of the tokens, so the majority of the control will be in the hands of the community. This is a complete shift from how existing chat apps work and will be the first time a chat app will be directly controlled by its users. Also, holders of the OpenChat token will benefit financially if OpenChat takes off since that would cause the OpenChat token to grow in value. This means that our users are incentivized to bring other people over to OpenChat which will hopefully cause the user base to grow massively. Our code will soon be open source too, and our plan is to reward people who contribute by giving them additional OpenChat tokens. We have already had many people from the community volunteer to translate OpenChat, and thanks to them, we currently support 11 different languages. Once, once the OpenChat tokens are available, we'll send some to those users who have already helped out. So it will be exciting to see how the pool of contributors grows due to these tokenization aspects. And in closing, no one really knows how OpenChat will look in two to three years, since it will be decided by the community. But either way, it's exciting to be part of this journey. So get involved, build things,
join in with the fun. And good luck with the hackathon.